to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I thought I would share with you a quick review of the Trade Santa crypto trading platform. I've had a few of you leave comments down below and request that I review the platform. And given the time of year, we're a couple days away from Christmas, I thought it would be appropriate to go ahead and do the review. Now, I have no idea what this platform is about. I've done a little bit of recon on it and I've not actually traded on it. I'm not necessarily recommending you trade on it. I will put it to the live fire test by the end of this video. And in the near future, I'll have an update video on how it performs. And so now would be a good time to subscribe. If you don't want to miss the update video or any other future videos, just shoot that subscribe button and you'll always be in the loop for new videos. So with that all being said, let's get into the weeds of this Trade Santa automated crypto trading platform. Now you can start for free. You get a whopping three days right there. That's a lump of coal. Uh, what are you going to really know in three days? But the reality is that's all they're going to give you. I'd prefer to see seven days and actually 14 days would be even better. And so all you need to do is click the start free trial. They'll ask for an email address, uh, username, and a password you make up and you're on your way. And if you're curious what it costs to get started, as I scroll down, you can see that it's basically $14 a month. That'll give you 49 bots. That seems like a lot of bots unlimited number of pairs all their strategies and telegram notifications the upgrade to twenty dollars a month will get you the trailing take profit and about double the bots and then the thirty dollars a month uh, basically unlimited bots they are offering a christmas special of one year at fifty percent off and one year free but with that being said again I'm not recommending you use this platform. I've never used it. Today will be the first day I actually set anything up on it. So I've already clicked on the start free trial. And once I log in, I log in on a quick start page and it says get started. So we'll click get started. And the first thing it looks like it wants me to do is create a new hit BTC account with your email in one click. I'm not gonna do that. The other option is I can connect an existing exchange which their list of exchange is extremely limited. And really the only two that I would consider using is Binance or Binance US. I guess hit BTC would be an option. And in reality, this to me is a second lump of coal as far as this platform goes. They don't really have a whole lot in the way of exchanges that they are actually partnered with. I need to go grab some API keys. So I can either do Binance or Binance US. I'll do Binance US today. All right, so to create your API keys, if you're using Binance or Binance US, it's pretty much the same. All you need to do is go to your user icon and scroll down to API management, click on API management, and it will take you to the create API screen where you can label the API, we'll just call it SantaBot, and you click create bot. And then you'll need to do your google authenticator and then they'll send you an email and you click on the email and you'll end up with your api keys and you will need both the api key and the secret key so once you have those keys you need to copy them and paste them over here in the trade center where it says insert api key and then i'll paste in my secret key and then click next now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the first time I've been on the platform. So this is all new to me as it is new to you. And so now it looks like I completed step one. Step two is choose your base currency. And we're going to be going long. Actually, I'm hoping to set up their grid bot, but we'll humor them and we'll go long ETH. And then my quote currency will be USDT. And then I guess it gives you some information. We'll click next and I then at that point I have a choice between a DCA bot which I certainly don't want to do I want to try their grid bot so let's click on the grid bot and then after you click on the grid bot it looks like I have some choices to take profit targets uh, which would be the upward move is your take profit and then the step of extra order is the obviously buy, buying the dip 
and the max extra orders is set at one. So then we move on to order volume in USDT. Let's say 100 USDT, and then it'll do one first order. And so the first order appears to be the order it makes when you deploy the bot. And so the max extra orders, it would be, I guess, your lower parts of your grid. So we'll jack this up to say four. So we have four grids down. I don't see where you add any extra grids up. I will adjust my take profit levels. And I would prefer to be able to actually type in the number because this is going to go from eight to seven. What happened to seven, five? or 7.6 is actually what I do on most of my bots. I've done a lot of different grid bots, whether it be on Quadency or Bitsgap. Far more user-friendly, far more options for setting it up. This whole setup, again, in my opinion, I give it a lump of coal. That's three lumps of coals for this platform. It's not real impressive unless I'm missing something. I get it, this is super easy to configure, but it doesn't really give you any options and perhaps it's not really geared towards experienced traders. Maybe it's just really for someone brand new and has no clue what they're doing. However, this kind of setup could be very dangerous for someone who has no idea what they're doing. And so with that all being said, let's see what comes next. I've given the bot 500 USDT and so let's click next. And so the next step looks like they give you a stop loss. That's good. I'm glad to see they've actually thought that far ahead. And you could choose to close position if price drops or increases by a certain percent. But if you're going short, would you'd be looking to increase. I'm going long, so I'd be looking at the drop. I'm trading ETH. I'd be happy to trade ETH. But before I turn this off, it looks like I could also turn on a trailing stop loss. But again, I'm going to leave that function off at this time. And then you've got some choices for signals and the bot will search for an optimum entry point based on RSI. That's unique and different. So if we were to turn that on, then the bot is basically going to look at your RSI. Probably if I'm going long, I'm assuming it's looking at oversold levels. But again, I'm going to run this as a very basic bot and see if it can even accomplish that before I even get into the weeds of these advanced features. So at this point, I don't have any grid to look at like Bitscap offers or Quadency. I, I guess I hit start and take their word for it that I'm going to have a grid bot. So I click start and doesn't look like anything happened. So we'll come over here to my bots. Click on grid bots, and it says I don't have one. So, lump of coal number four. Guys, if you've been using this platform, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I went through all of that, and I have no bot. I've got nothing. You know, in the spirit of the holiday season and this being Trade Santa, I'll give it another shot. My time is valuable, and I feel like I just wasted it. So now I guess if I click over here on grid bots, it gives me a chance to create a bot and the access point's going to be Binance US. Did we not just do all this? I'm doing the long position. I choose my pair. Looks like the settings are different than what I just went through, but all right. There's ETH USDT. Looks like they're giving me the same info I just had. Take profit percentage, which they had that fancy screen we did all that with. Now it looks like, however, I might be able to actually type. And so there, it fixed one of my complaints. I can actually type my take profit percentage. And the step of extra order percentage, that is the move down. We will say 0.76%. We'll set this to four. Volume of first order, $100, like we said before. Volume of extra, 100. And then max order price. I'm not even sure I need to set that. That set max price at which you're willing to enter the position. It will continue to buy as it goes down. So I'm not going to set a max order price. If it's going up and pulling back, I don't want to limit it from buying the pullbacks. I want it to buy the dips and sell the rips. Again, got the stop loss. Certainly not going to deploy any of that. Looks like I have all the same information I just had. The bot name, we didn't assign one, but 
let's go ahead and save and turn on and see if anything happens. All right, so it looks like it's placed some orders. Don't really see any grid. Let's see, it's updating. And I'm not sure why it did a $10 order. And we got an error. I had set the orders at $100, so that's kind of strange. And the bot is off. All right. That's about all the patience I have for this, guys. If you want to see grid bots that actually work, check out my videos on Bitscap and Quadency. I spent some time here trying to set this up, and quite honestly, I'm not impressed. And the fact it got an error and shut the bot down, I mean, for instance, with Crypto Hopper or any of the other bots, it will say there's an error, but it doesn't shut the bot down. And if I scroll down, you can see the bot settings, order volumes are $100. Other than the first trade of the buy, which I get, most of my grid bots, when you deploy them, they make a buy so that you actually hold the asset so it can sell it on the way up. I don't see that this is actually working. There's no grid on the chart that I can see. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop this bot before it costs me anything more. I'm going to sell coins and stop bot. Go ahead, sell the coins. See if it actually accomplishes that. I'll jump over to Binance and refresh my balance and see if I'm now holding some ETH. Yes, still holding the ETH. All right, I'm probably going to be better off just selling this ETH through Binance. I might have an order in place. Let's see. It says no open orders. It does show that I have some ETH. So let's dump this ETH. Looks like I'll make a profit. Yeah, it looks like I might make a profit. It looks like I bought the ETH at 580. And I'll be able to get out maybe at 585. Let's just do a market order and dump this. 100% sell. And so it looks like I was able to actually sell the ETH for 583 and change. I went from $100 to $103. Made a small profit. No thanks to this Trade Santa bot. So again, those of you who left comments wanting me to review this or who have used this and said it's not fancy like Bitscap, well, you're right about that. And so in the spirit of the holidays and it's Trade Santa, I'm not going to say anything more about it. That pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have other platforms you want me to review, I'll be happy to do it. Leave your comments down below. I suggest you don't leave their actual website link. You will get blocked by YouTube. Just leave the name of the platform. Believe me, I know how to do my own recon. I can find their website. Don't put a link to the website in your comment. Just put the company's name. If they're legit, I'll find them. Now, with that all being said, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you didn't like it, spike dislike. It helps the algo either way. If you don't want to miss out on future videos, I suggest you shoot that subscribe button right now. And lastly, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.